I'm YZ Kami, and I'm a painter. My painting is mostly portraits. My mother was a portrait painter in Iran, where I come from, and I grew up painting portraits. I remember very well my first encounter with Fayoum portraits. They were not like anything that I had seen. What I remember struck me as a young painter was the eyes that were so exaggerated, so large, but at the same time so real and so convincing. They are soulful. I mean, as if they are giving us information about another dimension or something. Altogether, there must be around seven, eight hundred Fayoum portraits in different parts of the world, and we know nothing about the painters. The only thing that we know is that this technique and this style was used in a region in Egypt called Fayoum, which is an oasis on the west side of the Nile. When you encounter them for the first time, you think this is post-Renaissance. But it is painted 2,000 years ago. This is the first century. Aesthetic comes from Greek Roman tradition. It's classical art. But the function is Egyptian. They were all painted to be put on top of the mummy of the deceased. They used to commission the artist to paint the portrait, and then they would hang the portrait in their home. And when the person died, they cut it to accommodate the mummy. So they all have this narrow, odd shape. They are painted with encoste, which is a mixture of wax and pigment. You have to heat it in order to use it. These were painted for eternity. That's why it's painted with encoste. Everything is preserved after 2,000 years. Each is a story of one human being. It's not just something generic the transparent white that they use, and the backgrounds, they all painted in a light gray, but the palette of the faces don't have a formula. Each is individualized. This boy with the injured eye, with a little mustache that shows that he's an adolescent, or this woman with her blue mantle, they are so real. Always in front of a human face, you have an emotional reaction. Fayums are as immediate to us as an actual photograph. People relate to these paintings. Maybe this is a cliche to say, but a true work of art that comes from a depth does not have cultural boundary, is timeless. <laughs> 